Legend of the War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster Battle playing as Clan Eshin, but we got Throt the Unclean here with a Brood Horror Doomstack. So we've got a really good army here, but we're up against probably way too much. Uh, we're up against Paravon, they've got more than three full stacks, they've got a lot of anti-large cavalry here, which is what Brood Horrors really struggle against. And of course, since we're not playing Clan Mulder, we don't get access to the mutations, so we can't just blow them up. So we're going to have to actually fight them. And they're just going to grind us down, essentially. Uh, we've got a Eshin Sorcerer here, which I'm not a big fan of it. We don't have a ton of Winds of Magic, and we have a Warlock Engineer, which is really just there for extra campaign movement range. We're definitely going to need more of the Menace Belows, and the worst thing about the situation is actually the map. Now, under normal circumstances, if you had a Weapons Team Army, a choke point battle like this would be exactly what you want. But we don't have any missile units, so the choke point there limits our movement. It limits their movement as well, but they have a larger army, and since we're weaker than them, then we can't just we can't just like travel over the unpassable terrain. And they've got flying units as well. So that's gonna be really tricky to work with. Anyway, let's just jump in here and see what we can do. We don't have the option to withdraw, so we have to stand and fight. Can't just concede defeat out of this. We have to win the battle, or else the entire army is wiped out. You know, sometimes you have to stand and fight. It'd be good if we could get through this without losing any brood horrors, but I think that that's wishful thinking, because there's just too many of them. But, I have a plan. Okay, give me some more wins. Oh good, problem solved, everything's gonna be fine. I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, so here's the plan. We are going to hide Throt up here. Right. Just to begin with. Actually, I'll... Let me just take them out for a moment. Three and four. I want a... I want a spare control group two for damaged ones of these. Alright, you stay there. And what I want to do is have this guy here, right? So here's the plan. I want to lure their entire army down this way to come and attack him. When they're about here, I'll be able to make a run for it to get back across this way. Now the plan here is to separate their cavalry from their infantry. If we can do that, we can beat all of their cavalry at the start of the battle that's, that's going to be here. But I can't beat all their cavalry if they're also fighting alongside their infantry. Especially if we can manage to get rid of their lords as well. So the whole point of this is to try to stretch out their army and make it spread out as much as possible and uh, concentrate our forces so that all of our forces are fighting a few troops at a time. So it's not just one huge mosh pit. But we'll have to see if they even take the bait. As for this guy here, you know what, I might actually get you to get across over here, get around the back of their army and cast spells behind them. Okay, so it's the only unit that they can see, so that's what they'll go for. They'll probably wait for their reinforcements, yeah. Yeah, don't give away the game. If we use the fireball, that uh, that cancels out stalk, so we got to be careful about that. And we also don't have a ton of winds of magic. We do have black whirlwind, uh, which would be good against their melee infantry or just unarmored troops. So don't use it on the cavalry. We're, get, we're really going to need these guys to focus on the cav. But there's a lot here. If it was any other faction, I wouldn't be worried. But the anti-large cavalry from Bretonia is very dangerous for them. Like, if this was Empire with, like, Reichsguard and Empire Knights, I'd just be like, Pfft. Yeah, unless it was Demigriff Knights. Then I'd actually be worried. Okay, just, just stay put. It's okay. Let them... Let them cross. I'll try to get at their rear. If I could, uh... Cast behind them, that'd be great. Get, like, a... Oh, look at this over here, but I gotta get there. As long as they give these guys here enough distance, we should be okay. Oh, come on, come on, come on. This looks awesome, but I gotta get there. That doesn't give any additional speed. <laughs> why are you- why are you sacrificing me, me? I thought you liked me. I like winning, too. Oh shit, we gave away the position. You can get away, you can get away. Actually, that kind of worked out because they blobbed up a fair bit. And we stalked again. Okay, cool. So what's that? 
There's blood, okay. Um... So, we did a lot of damage, but no actual casualties. Plague would have done a lot better. They're not, they're not crossing back over here, surely. I mean, they can see me. They can see this unit over here. Yeah, they're, they're going back across now, but I'm going to have a hard time getting there. Um, I mean, it'll cost them more in magic to... What, what, no, no, what? No, we're all hidden. No, no. Actually, no, that's a... I mean, we'll kill her, but at the same time... That's not what I wanted! I have to get across now. Over here, over here, go, go, go. Okay, luckily they haven't properly activated. We gotta get over here. Quick, quick, quick. Keep that guy out there. I'd love to get another cast in there, but these guys here are going to prevent me from doing that. That fireball is not a huge concern. Come on. Don't mind fighting you, but let's do it over here. Let's do it over here. Uh, actually, no, you know what? I think we got enough time. Let's get you. Let's kill you nice and quick. Okay, and you, go and hide. And they'll forget about you. Cool, if we can take out one of their guys right away... Or just a paladin. Oh, come on! You've got to kill faster than that. They'll be able to kill this dude a bit faster. Alright, well, killing off some fast units would definitely be good. Um, you come back over here. I'd love to cast into that, but I, I can't get close. Almost got him. We're gonna have to start getting out of here again in a moment. They're gonna pin us down long enough for these guys to catch up. Like I said, I'm not worried about fighting these ones, I'm worried about fighting them. Get back across. Use this to try to slow that down because I need this guy to get away. Alright, we're okay so far. We, we gotta get out of here though. We gotta go, 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 go. Get out. Before we get too badly pinned down. Move. We can't be fighting all of this. We gotta get some more distance. Okay, he got away, he's fine. He doesn't need to go into the woods. Okay, you come back out, see if we can lure them back over here again, even just temporarily. Okay, I need to get rid of these cavalry, because otherwise they're gonna bother me. Just stay away from their infantry as much as possible. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's gonna hurt. I can't get away now. I can't get away. We're gonna have to stand and fight for a bit. If you can come over here and cast something on them, that could be useful. And more reinforcements coming in. Uh, this guy here is taking way too much damage. I need Throt to heal him. Now we're pinned down. We managed to do a bit of damage, but definitely didn't... Okay, get back out there. We didn't do as much as I would have liked. It was always a bit risky doing that. All right, I'm going to need to overcast one of these over here so it'll do more damage. Nice big blob occurring. Come on, hurry up. Right in there. Let's hope that does okay. Go, go hide over here, because they're coming in from over there. It's good that half their army's still stuck around over here. That's actually really good for us. We are taking a lot of damage, though. Very lopsided damage. I just need to pop down stuff just to keep our guys together.
How's he doing? Okay, he got he got out, so that means he'll be able to come back. If you want to go and hide over there for a bit, that'll be fine. So how do you go for damage? Yeah, he did alright. Good, one of their lords died. Uh, go after their, um, their knights there. This guy here is really badly damaged, but... I really need all the power I've got here to just kill their cavalry quickly. Now, guys here really just as meat shields. Bouncer power's looking good, but there's still a lot more reinforcements to come. Okay, we've got to, we've cleared out a lot of their cavalry. We got it. We got to move out of this, this spot now. Okay, you. Yeah, I got to move out of this. Try to try to pull out some of them. Some of them will probably get killed when we do this, but we can't, just can't stay here fighting their melee infantry just yet. So get them out. That's why we summoned all those things there, just so it gives our guys a chance to get away. Come on, Throck, get out of there. You're kind of important. Just a bit. Come on, get out of it. So yeah, the summons just to try to make sure they get away. Alright, I think we actually got everyone out of that mosh pit. Okay, now we gotta to try to get back across. Okay, you better hide. We could punch through a unit of battle pilgrims, no problem. Come on, go, 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 go. It's good they're still stuck fighting these guys over here. I'll give them another menace below in a moment. Yeah, keep that guy hidden. Okay, we've got more cavalry incoming. Uh, they're gonna pin us down, come on. We're faster than them, but the problem is, is once they get into combat with us, we just can't accelerate fast enough. Okay, buy some more time there. There we go, there we go, there we go, we're getting out of the fight. Good, good, good. Also gives us some time to regenerate. Which they don't get. I mean, they got life magic, but... That's fine. Cool. Get through, get through. Alright, let's try to get their cavalry and their heroes away from their melee infantry. And if they can come at us in waves, that'll be perfect. This is... It didn't look so good at first, but because we got out of that first fight there, it's really good. Got magic again now, but I don't want to risk the Eshin Sorcerer just yet. That's it. Get over here. Alright, try to draw them. I'm not going to be able to cross again just yet. We've got to get rid of all their cavalry. That's it. Bring them over. We're fast enough that we can draw them away. Just stay away from their melee infantry. Way too dangerous to be finding them and the cavalry at the same time. See, the cavalry just pin us down and the melee infantry come in and all their halberds just wreck us. Ego, beasts follow. Good hunting ground. No. This is where we're fighting. I would have liked to have gone a bit further away, but that's what it is. Alright, another one over here just to delay them. Another reason for these hit and runs as well is so that you can keep using these abilities. Got left over there. Yeah, he will not be able to defeat a Knights of the Realm on his own. We need to send back up. This one here's taking a lot of damage. That'll help him out a little bit. Okay, you stand back out here again. Just wanted to try to lure them away from our Brood Horrors. We're definitely winning the fight here. In, in this specific spot. Good, a lot of their cavalry gone. Right. Come on guys, go and help him out. Oh, did I send him out? Didn't mean to do that. Get back in control, group one. Uh, getting back across is going to be a challenge for sure. Mm. Bouncer power is looking good though. Still more reinforcements to come. Got to keep that in mind. So yeah, these wolf rats are pretty decent at just holding them back just for a little bit. Alright, they don't seem to give a crap about him. No, I got 30 wins of magic, but it's just not that useful here. I just gotta focus on them. 
Don't have much reserves at left anyway. Got one left of these. Hold back the infantry. Some of these pack masters might end up dead, so we should, at the very least, use up their abilities before that happens. I think we did. That's it for them. Now they're just essentially just brood horrors. Some of them have already used up most of their region, and I can't get them off the battlefield. They have to actually route. Too much of a mosh pit here. We gotta start getting out. Which, that's gonna be tricky. This guy here is kind of stuck. No one gets left behind. Get back in there. At least we get a charge bonus in. And they don't give a shit about that at all. Too many melee infantry here. It's gonna be a problem for us. See, if, if they got the same cheats, well, if they didn't get cheats, it wouldn't be a problem, but yeah, their melee infantry is actually dangerous in this instance. I know I'm always saying melee infantry is shit, but that's when commanded by the player. Because the way the AI units and the way that your units perform, not the same thing. I wish I could just withdraw some of these off the battlefield. Okay, most of their large units are gone. Alright, let's get the, the most damage of them out. Okay, get them out over here and just go hide. You're done for the battle for the time being. Get rid of that paladin, that would be good. Oh, it's a fucking lost control group. Everyone else is okay. This one here's taking a bit of damage. Alright, you go into the control group too. Same thing with you. Get him out. Get him out, get him out. I'd kill for some area effect damage stuff over here, but I just can't get the Eshen Sorcerer over here. Yeah, I just want them to come and hide over here for the time being. Okay. I can't get out of that fight. There's too many of them. We're definitely stuck in here for the time being. <laughs> I might need them to come and help. We, we need to get rid of these. Oh, fuck me. They've just got us pinned down. And I know I just can't get out of that fight. They'll just eat us while we're trying to get away. Can't hit and run. Like, we got rid of all their initial cavalry, pretty much. See, I didn't want these guys to go and rest, but... I just don't think they're going to give us that chance. Right, where is the uh, monster? I can't see the monster of these. Oh, there it is. Where are the Book of Hearts? Try to kill that. Well, nobody's died yet, but we got some bloody close calls in here. Just hoping the army loss gets triggered at some point. Try to get rid of some stragglers over there. You know, they're holding on okay. Damaged ones get pulled out. Let them do the, the easy stuff while these guys here keep tanking. Because, yeah, if we if we tried to get out of here, some of them would be able to get away, but most of them won't. And we'll end up taking a lot of damage. Okay, if I can get these guys around the side here, I'm not too worried about their archers. If I could just get a whole bunch of them to break, that would be great. Especially the cavalry. Get the fuck out of here. He's just standing out there. They just do not care. They're going after Throp. But Throp hasn't really taken much damage. Good. We've got a bit of a mass route coming in here. Good, good, good. Get them all away from me. Get them all. We'll, it'll free up our movement. Okay. All of these guys here. Back into control group one. Still. A bounce of power is okay, though. I don't think I've got any more summons. No, no more summons. And we did it! We did it! <laughs> we just had to hold on long enough, but we did it. But obeys me, yes. 
Alright, some of their armies were on Force March, but I'm not sure which ones. Plus, if we just let the battle go on for a bit longer, we'll get some more regen. But yeah, tough fight. Really tough fight. And we didn't lose any Brood Horrors. There's some really close calls in there, though. All of our abilities got used up. But yeah, the key to that victory was as much as possible, which we weren't able to do very much, hit and running. And, you know, this guy here, even though we didn't use up all of his magic, he did do a lot of damage. And this guy here, he might have been the most important. You know? Just uh, for uh, luring them out of the way, giving these guys the chance to get across here. Because we were able to have a big cavalry mosh pit. Took out a lot of their very powerful units right at the start. So if we have a look at here, there's not that many melee infantry. The melee infantry fight happened over here. And by that point, they were quite tired as well. Alright, that'll do. Cool. But you know, didn't go off without a hitch. We definitely had some problems. But as long as none of them died, then, you know, they can recover. I doubt these guys are going to send another army, and since these guys are a minor faction, there's not too many other factions to still have their turn before you get your next turn. So yeah, some of these were on Force March, I don't know which ones though. And... Well, we got all the food back, and I can give you some money, but I'm going to go with some extra food. So that one there got wiped out, that's good. So, two of their armies remained. So, two, two of their armies were on Force March, two were on regular stance. And you're not... What are you doing out here? <laughs> I feel like he jumped in the underway and then withdrew it in the second fight, but I'm not sure. Uh, the campaign itself looks like it's going fine. Um, you know, no real disasters going on here by look of it. If we have a look diplomacy-wise... Uh, that's pretty normal for Skaven, to be honest. Uh, what's your strength ranking? Two? Yeah, that's... You, you're doing fine. Got a good amount of money coming in through here, so that's good. Yeah, Throt didn't get any recovery over the end turn. Uh, so maybe I should have taken the money. But all you need to do is, like, fight one of these battles and you just recover as you fight. So that'll be easy for you to keep things going. You got plenty of food as well, so... Um, could be a good idea for you to... This, this is what I'd do. I'd try to atta attack this one here first, then this one. That'll put you on the other side of Montfort. Then I would besiege Montfort and withdraw, and then I would go and capture Paravon. That way, you stop all three of their the armies sword. recruiting, and then you just cripple them, because I don't think they've got any forces at all yet. Yeah, that's what I would do. So, just to, just to rehash that, attack this one first, ambush, kill him, then attack this one. Because as long as it's within this one's zone of control, you should be able to bypass Montfort. Then you'll be stuck in Montfort's zone of control. Uh, besiege it, and then withdraw. You'll be standing over here, and then you should have enough movement to get to Paravon. If you sack Montfort from this angle here, you'll go back this way, and you won't have enough movement, probably, to get to Paravon. Um, and you can just, you know, sack Paro, uh, Montfort another time. And the main thing here is just to stop these armies from recruiting, because they recruit very quickly. And yeah, you get rid of all three of these lords, and Paravon is just completely crippled, and you'll be fine. Anyway, oh, that's unusual. You don't usually see these rebels sitting there. Hmm, interesting. Whatever. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something, and we'll see you next time, fuckers. Appreciate you. Bye.